there dearies and welcome back to Cobweb Cottage. It's Halloween time in the Sleepy Hollow area and Jonas and I love this season so so much if you couldn't tell. This is our third October in the cottage and each year it's gotten cozier and cozier. In the past couple years I've already done some to cottage tours of our fall decor but this year I thought we might do it a little bit different, change things up a little bit. I thought why not film it while I decorate so you guys can join me at the cottage and we can have a little fall Halloween decorating party. Sounds fun to me, hope it sounds fun to you, and why not dress up like a cobweb cottage which, while you're at it, made perfect sense to me. <laughs> I also thought this would be a good idea because we haven't really bought many new things, like we kind of try to keep our holiday decorations to a minimum because we don't have a lot of space to store it, though we do keep out a lot of our Halloween stuff all year long, but there's certain things that we'd like to pull out, but it hasn't really changed, so I thought it might be kind of fun to change things up and decorate with me. I've already done the couch area here though. Uh, this fun bunting is actually new and these really cute pillows. So Jonas and I already decorated the outside of the cottage the other day because it was for a very special project. I just never get tired of picking the pumpkins and the mums and bringing them to the cottage and decorating the porch and it just Oh, it's just the best time of year here at Cup of Cottage, and I just love how everything starts to glow, and it's just this beautiful orange glow. And it's just my old-fashioned dream come true with the corn stalks and everything. I just feel like I'm living in a vintage Halloween postcard. Speaking of which, you may have seen this on Instagram and other places so far, but we have postcards for sale now, and it's of our cottage! Jonas and I designed these beautiful fall postcards with our charming cobweb cottage on the front and then it says charming autumn greetings and it has a very very cute poem that Jonas wrote it's very reminiscent of vintage postcards um, we're selling them in bundles of six and you can get them in the link below in Jonas's Etsy shop and you can send these to your lovely kindred spirits all around the world and greet them with charming autumn greetings. We are so, so excited to have these. This has been a dream come true to have some postcard merchandise for you guys. And especially with the cottage, it's all so, so beautiful. Because who doesn't love a handwritten letter, especially in this digital society? The artwork comes from uh, the tins that Jonas designed for collaboration with our friends at T-Spectral. I've already done a whole other video about that. It may or may not be sold out at this point, but uh, that's why I wanted to tell you especially about the postcards. Without further ado, let's put on the music and let's get decorating. Yeah. Okay, I thought I would start with the kitchen and I don't think anyone's ever seen this view of our kitchen actually like this detailed before. So here you go. Uh, we've recently redid this area and I thought I'd start out by putting um, some of the decorations up here and some leaves and let's do it. So when we redid the kitchen earlier this year and we did the this wall is sort of like a travel vintage postcard theme and then um, a while ago we had already put this together and we like to change it out seasonally because I have like a lot of vintage postcards I like to display and so this year it's extra special though because we get to display the postcards that we are selling in our store the, the cup of cottage and um, you can actually see how I've always had this is an actual really antique one um, but I'm obsessed with this you know, kind of scenery with a cottage and some kind of greeting and a cute poem, so you can really see the inspiration there. And then, of course, we have to have Jonas's original character here, Pumpy Doo. He's so adorable. And then this is just something I got off Etsy. Over here on the side of our refrigerator, I know it's a random spot, but it's what we got. I put this, like, lace curtain, and just this is where I like to display things we get from pen pals and family members and it's already looking pretty cute and pretty festive and eventually what I do at the end of the season is put these all together take them down and put them in a scrapbook. So I already put together this basket 
Uh, it took me way too long actually to do on camera, so... But I'm really happy with how, how it came out because I, of course I wanted to find a way to display our tea tin that Jonas designed with our friends at Tea Spectral with, for sweater weather, our favorite tea blend. There's actually tea in here. And uh, there's Cocoa Cottage again and our historic graveyard. And I just thought it'd be perfect to display in the kitchen, like a kind of little picnic basket idea. And over here next to the window, we always have this out. Um, I last year had dried some fall leaves and I'm gonna I think it's gonna be a new tradition to put new ones every year. And this is our wedding candle scent that we had on our wedding day and so we like to always light this on our anniversary on the first day of fall and kind of it's like a time capsule. This is a little cauldron I got at, in Sweden. You can find these everywhere and I just put some little candies and then down here you can see my tin obsession has always been around. These two actually are both seasonal tins and I like to rotate them around depending on the season. So of course the fall one is always my favorite. Let's look at this little cute little couple reading a book. And this one's more of an Art Nouveau style. I'm really happy with how the kitchen looks. I, in general, want the ki kitchen to feel kind of like a primitive, folky, countryside kitchen style with the travel postcards included. So I'm really, really happy how it looks. And uh, it's really cozy to have our breakfast in here and have some tea together. Moving on into the living room. I got these last year at Michael's and I really, really want to, I'm tempted to leave them up all year. I mean, can't I justify leaving anything cobwebby up all year long? <laughs> I really need to get some more spiderweb stuff. I've actually been struggling a lot with this area. It took me many different trials to get just like a kind of setup that I liked. I think I'm happy with it now. I kind of wanted this area to look a bit more like the vintage Halloween style and I think it came out kind of cute. And these I've been waiting to put on the windows on camera. They're just so precious. I got them from Sourpuss Clothing last year and they are just little ghosty stickers, but they're replicas of, I think, a 1960s design. So I just love their little expression so much. This is my favorite area to decorate. I also kind of started it already off camera because it's just too much, but uh, I added a few different things than last year. Some books and then I got this at Home Goods this year and it just glows really cute. It's kind of like a copper material so I don't know I thought it was more like kind of very cottage Halloween-y feeling. And then um, I'm about to switch out a few things though. We collect vintage sheet music and uh, I always keep these cottage ones up here but I do change out seasonally this one so I'm really excited to put up my jack-o-lantern sheet music by the way. This is my life goal right here. I just want this to be my final form. So if anyone can help me achieve that with this outfit, it would be great. So there we are. I thrifted this frame that works great for this switching out the sheet music um, because it's like a double sided and you can just pop it out. And I think it's originally from Michael's, but I thrifted it. And I think it's cool that you can see even the, the advertisements on the back. That's what I love about sheet music. So I'm excited to have this one up because it's my favorite one that we own. Really the last thing I need to decorate is with these vintage Halloween cutouts and last year I had them up around there before we had the frames so I think I'm just gonna take down the frames and put these up because they're my favorite thing ever and I think I got these at Sour on Sourpuss Clothing uh, last year also. I think I'm a lot happier with this setup with the different arrangement up there. And uh, I don't know if it's just throwing me off because I'm used to having different frames there, but I think I will get reused to having so much orange and pumpkins. I mean, can you have too many pumpkins? I think not. <laughs> so overall, I think I'm really happy with how it turned out this year. I think it shows a lot more of our personality than it has before. I liked adding the books in there and I think these leaves and the lights really warmed up the area because we don't leave the candles on like all the time and I'm really really excited because ugh, orange is just my favorite color it's really the happiest color and this whole area just glows so beautifully and it's so cozy when we're watching movies here and now we have our cute little setup here and uh yeah the cottage is just looking better and better every year 
the more we, longer we live here, the more we just really are nestled in and I just love it so much. I think I forgot to show this new addition that I got at Michael's and it's perfect for Cobweb Cottage. Basically my goal is to get as many cobwebby things that work for all year long so you can pretty much live our everyday is Halloween lifestyle here in, in the Sleepy Hollow area. And this is my favorite pumpkin spice candle in the world, actually made by a friend, Country Witch Candles. And you guys, I'm going to try to link everything either below or in the blog post that's going to go with this video. Um, but at, feel free to ask me any questions if I forgot to mention something where I got it, because a lot of it just is probably vintage or thrifted. But if you have a question, feel free to ask. Now that this area is all lit up as well, I think I really like it. And I'm actually kind of glad that I filmed at nighttime because at first I was thinking, why am I doing this so late? But how can you get the full glowing Jack Lantern effect otherwise? And I really do like this kind of little country vintage Halloween area here. And I don't think I showed this part. Um, I don't know, more kind of country fall stuff that I'm probably gonna leave up way too long. <laughs> but i am so in love with this area and that's pretty much it you guys i really hope you enjoyed this our cottage is very small and so there isn't a whole lot to show and like i said i didn't buy too many new things either but i hope you enjoyed decorating with me i had a lot of fun well dudes i really hope you enjoyed this decorating video i had so much fun putting it all together and i hope you felt like you were hanging out with me at Cabo cottage so let me know what you liked from our decorations and if you'd like to see more decorating with me kinds of videos and yeah just hope you guys will have a wonderful magical charming halloween time bye for now i love you just showed up yeah <laughs> what do you think when you came home to me dressed like this i was surprised <laughs> i was like <gasps> And uh, what do you think of all the cottage decorations? It looks, it looks like a new home. <laughs> so you couldn't join me decorating because why? Sorry. I've been carving pumpkins. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> Professional pumpkin carving man. You must be exhausted. Mm -hmm. But do you think the cottage is super cozy? Of course. Cozier than ever? It's even cozier than this. What? I don't know about that. Right now we are here. Right inside there. This is inside. This is how it looks inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go to Sleepy Hollow for dinner now. Okay, bye! Bye! Hey, Dwight Hooper! Woo!